Hi, I'm uh, Jeff Satter with the Warmont Police. I'm uh, the Deputy Chief of the Police Department. Last name is spelled S-A-T-U-R. And I, I really appreciate you guys coming today. Uh, we have Rita's family here, and uh, they're going to introduce themselves and take any questions that you want. So, well, uh, Rita's mom is standing to my left. Um, I'm Diane, his mom. Um, I'm very thankful that you're all here today. This is uh, my daughter Rita. Uh, she is 34. She's about five seven. Um, she weighs maybe around 140 pounds. I don't want to overestimate her because you're a little bit. Um, she has uh, tattoos on her both arms, on her shoulder, on uh, both feet. Um, she has piercings in her ears, but I don't believe she was wearing any jewelry. That's her name. She was seen. She has piercings on her tongue. Awesome. Um, this is my daughter Jessica. Like a 
said, Rita's going to school, so a lot of her, um, a lot of her free time, or not free time, a lot of her time was at school. Um, free time, she hangs out with Jessica a lot, um, and her sisters, and they try to get family things. She has her three boys, and to keep her busy. Um, she's actually, she had a diva. She's a diva. <laughs> Always had to be male. Walk us through the emotions that you guys are going through. Um, right now, I just want to scream inside. I am screaming and I just want to pull every piece of my hair out. People keep saying, I don't know how you're keeping so strong. I am trying to be strong because she's my daughter. And like I said, you know, they're like, Mom, you're, you're the mom. mom. And I'm like, you guys are moms, but I'm the mom. Um, and, um, but she's my daughter, and I just see her back home. Um, I need the inside of me that's just going crazy to stop. Obviously, you, you can see that my daughter Jessica and my daughter Nicole couldn't even be out here because she was just. Again, Rita, I'm going to keep telling you, Rita, come home. Your sisters are a wreck. I'm trying not to be, but I am. The bit inside I am trying to experience. Just pray that when she comes home, 
a lot of people are asking me, um, people I don't even know are asking me what, what I can do, and I've been telling them, to please pray, yes, pray, um, pray her, for her safety, pray we find her, and um, most of all, I've been asking people to pray that they would leave our peace. Our detectives, everyone who's working so hard to help us find her. Um, people in the communities who are looking, um, just pray for direction and pray that uh, there's leads a lead a really good, honest lead. some information today from what we know. We know that Nina and her friends were out at the uh, speakeasy. Uh, they ended up their night up at the Breakers Bar. Uh, they walked home to the parking or walked back to the parking lot behind Trees Bar, which is in the 300 block of Maine, but the parking lot's in the 300 block of Kaufman. And uh, from witnesses and friends that were with her, we know there were other people in the parking lot that saw Rita, maybe talked to Rita, that may have seen something. We do not know who all those people are. We are really asking that anybody who was in that parking lot that night, this was Saturday night into Sunday morning, so around 2.30 a.m. Sunday morning, uh, we're asking that they call the Longmont Police Department and uh, tell us what they saw, because we know somebody saw something out there uh, we know Rita was on the phone with somebody, um, and we, but we don't know who that person is. So somebody saw something, and we need information. So any information that we could get about that that morning would be incredibly helpful for us and the family, obviously. Uh, this is a scary situation for everybody, uh, including uh, the Wawaw Police Department. And we are working our hardest to find Rita want to find Rita, but we need information because our, our old standbys of tracking the phones and those kind of things aren't working for us right now, so we need, we need some some witnesses to come forward. The friends that were with her last, did they drive separately? Or? Uh, so they all came together in uh, one of the friend's cars, and then uh, Rita was on the phone and said, I'll get a ride home with someone else, and, uh, and that's last time anybody from her friends or family has had any contact with her. Have you been able to, have you not been able to figure out who that phone call was to yet? No, we've got uh, search warrants into Snapchat, and um, so we're working through those things. We're, we're, you know, we know the family used Snapchat a lot, so we're hopeful that's how she was communicating, but uh, we're, we're exploring all the avenues that we can, phone records, and, we're doing everything we can around the technology side. We need some of the the, the, the witness side it would be really helpful in this case right now. Thank you. Is there anything else I can answer? I, I uh, really appreciate everything you guys are doing and helping on this case. You know, we're, we're getting tips, we're getting information. None of it's panned out yet, but. At, at some point, we're going to get a break, so I really appreciate you coming up here today and, and being here for the family, so thank you very much. Thank you.